Each day is bringing changes to the mask policies at major businesses following the release of the new guidelines by the CDC just last week. Target today said that guests and employees who are fully vaccinated are not required to wear masks. Meyer announced it will no longer be requiring masks for fully vaccinated people, but all employees will continue to wear them. Now Kroger is still requiring masks for everyone in its stores. We've got an updated list of the store policies right now at clickondetroit.com. The changes that have a lot of people asking about workplace safety. Jason Colthorpe is live with that part of the story, Jason, and, and today the state weighed in, kind of. Yeah, yeah that's a great way to put it, Kim. Uh, and Meyer's a good example of one of the businesses wondering about what to do with employees wearing masks. Well, they and all the other businesses, like you said, got something official from the state today, although it's not really official. Following the CDC's new guidance on masks last week, the dominoes are slowly falling in Michigan. The state dropped its mask mandate two days later and quickly some stores followed suit. But what about their workers? In its statement alerting customers they didn't have to wear masks, Meyer said our team members will be while we evaluate regulatory requirements. Those requirements seem to have changed with this announcement today from the state's COVID-19 workplace safety director. Myosha will soon post updated workplace rules reflecting the CDC's recent guidance on face masks for fully vaccinated people, which is to say it's not official, but it will be soon. If there's one thing our members have learned over the past year, uh, it's how to operate safely and protect their employees and their customers. The head of Michigan's Chamber of Commerce, Rich Studley, is annoyed that this non order is trickling down well after the CDC's announcement. Because, as anyone who has seen an empty storefront lately knows, every day matters to businesses. How about if we start treating Michiganders as adults and allow individual employees and individual customers and individual businesses to make the adult decisions they're now capable of making and prepared to make? The state also said as part of that statement that until Myosha makes it official that employee complaints or investigations in the workplace should operate under good faith that the MDHHS order is the standard. And if that sounds a little confusing, it sounds like that to businesses too. And that's why they're a little frustrated because they're hearing from MDHHS, Myosha, now uh, uh, also the Department of Labor and of course the governor's office and it all comes out at different times instead of all at once or in some coherent message. Back to you. Well, uh, Jason, can Myosha not just resend the order? Well, the Chamber of Commerce certainly thinks it can, uh, although Myosha didn't give me an answer on that. Mm. Uh, however, uh, we'll have to wait and see if it can do that. It also uh, works under uh, different uh, time frames here because only every six months can Myosha actually make uh, changes sure. to its its guidelines. So we might have to wait all the way until October for it to be official. But again, work like it is official. Yeah, fascinating. Definitely. All right, Jason.